village, which is located uh, right near the Black Sea. And uh, to get from the place where my university is located to the place where I, where I was born, it would take me about 8-10 hours by car as well. So I don't see my mother very often. I come um, to my home one or two um, times a half a year, just uh, in two months. I come uh, to my house, name of our country, just Staranizhistiblivska. Very long, isn't it? <laughs> very difficult to pronounce. But anyway, uh, so, and now I think I'm finished. I Moscow, and actually I live not far from the north, Mo Moscow North Port, where we used to be docked when we started our journey from Moscow. Uh, I'm a mess. I had been studying medicine for three years until I realized that I would like to uh, make career in tourism. So now I'm studying my guide in Korea, and this spring I finished some courses that allowed me to uh, run people to get people around Moscow. And so this course is a very good opportunity for me to get to know new people, to get to know how everything works in this business. <laughs> and I'm really enjoying it. I did this, uh, studied linguistics. Uh, my second language is also um, Spanish. Um, I live, well, I'm also the southern girl. I live in the very south of the country, near the Black Sea, but close to the Azov Sea. Um, my, my city is Rostov and uh, Tatiana's city is uh, Petigorsk. Um, so, uh, I have a very big family. I have two younger sisters. Um, my mother is a musician um, that had to become um, a bookkeeper. Uh, and my father is, uh, well, he keeps bees and chicken. Uh, we live in a separate private house. But it is in the center of the city.